Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here. Just a real, um, I'm going to say real quick, right? No, I'm not going to say it this time. All right. Uh, just wanted to show you um, a couple of Bibles that uh, I've picked up recently. Um, one I've had um, a little bit longer. This one here is the one that I just picked up at Ollie's the other day. Um, I grabbed that um, at Ollie's. Um, uh, that was the same day that I did that little Sam's Club blurb, live blurb. Um, but uh, this here, I ended up grabbing this at Ollie's instead because uh, this was only $25. And uh, when you see it, you'll be amazed. Um, so I'll show you this one first. Um, if it moves a little bit, I'm using a different setup, holding the selfie stick in between my knees. But <laughs> oh, look at this is the New King James Version. This is a leather soft edition. Look at the grain on this leather. It has that pebbly um, calfskin leather look. It looks just like uh, my Skylar um, calfskin leather. Um, of course, that was my Bible that was uh, run over by a couple of semis. Um, I still have it because it's amazing that it survived um, at all. Um, I might rebind another Bible in that cover. But at any rate, this is the New King James Version. Um, it's a large print, Thomas Nelson large print reference Bible. Um, and it has perimeter stitching. It's your traditional um, six by nine um, block. And uh, it's um, it's a wonderful, wonderful Bible. I, I consider it a study Bible. This, however, has vinyl paste down, which made this um, more uh, towards a premium look. Um, and so uh, it's one of the things that moved me to grab it, uh, because uh, if you get it, if you get it, if it, this is... Uh, Probably not going to be a giveaway Bible, but if you do pick one up, there is an ISBN right there. And that should be um, all that you'll need um, if you can see it. Um, if not, forgive the video here. If not, we'll, uh, we'll make it. Um, I'll put the ISBN in the... Uh, description of the video below um two beresford ribbon markers uh, they are um the best ribbon markers that you can find and uh so inside the text holy bible you see new kjv thomas nelson um i think that zondervan is allowing thomas nelson to still um, remain while Zondervan bought the rights um, to some of their Bibles. Uh, Thomas Nelson still is putting them out, I guess. Um, you have the 2K Denmark Comfort Font um, and uh, uh, is it here or is it there? There it is. Thomas Nelson, new KJV typeface created by 2K Denmark. All right, so that's your copyright information. You have table of contents. And then you have a preface to the New King James Version. It is not the complete preface. It's a shortened preface. Read it. If you get this Bible, read the preface. If you have a New King James Version with uh, the full preface and you haven't read it, please do. Art Farstad was amazing. What an amazing, amazing man of God. It's sad that he's gone, but um, he left a legacy. Hallelujah. This Bible has been since 1982. Hasn't been changed. There was one minor update in 85, but that was it. Um, and so uh, you have two column text, all right? Um, this Bible will lay flat eventually. I haven't broken this in yet, but it will lay flat for you. That's the reason why the leather's soft. Um, um, and, uh, it truly is soft leather. You have a center column reference, 
um, your headers, uh, chapters, uh, books are, are in the burgundy red. Uh, you have a concise book introduction, which I really enjoy. This makes it even more of a study Bible for me. For me, cross-references are all I need to make it a study Bible. Um, I'd prefer if this were at the bottom of the page, um, but I'll show you why that Bible right there is the Bible that um, I think is top of the line for me. Um, you'll see why. Um, you have the red um, line, um, decorative line that separates the um, um, separates the uh, introduction from the text. This is silver gilding around. It's not art gilt, but I like the silver gilding. So I match the silver gray cover. And then um, inside, you'll see each chapter number is um, a bold drop numeral, um, almost like the drop caps, but just in the numbers instead of the um, instead of the cap, the capital letter. Um, and then uh, upper here, upper right corner, upper left corner, and you get your page number. Um, and so that's throughout the text. Um, this poetic books are set in poetic form, which is, uh, good. Um, and then you have the red letter. Um, this red letter will, um, allow me to read red letter again, because it's not that neon pink that you see in some Bibles. Um, it's a, a good burgundy red letter. Um... And the verse-by-verse -verse format is uh, most important for me. Um, this is a verse-by-verse -verse format, which is one, the, one of the main reasons why I took it. Um, this, uh, I, I, I'm thinking that my wife is going to make this her Bible. She likes the ribbons, and so I'm thinking that she's going to make this her Bible. So, um... I need to get a kickstand for this. This would be nice because this is a nice overhead camera. I can keep my hands free. And uh, yeah, it's just a selfie stick, but it works. Um, so uh, at the back, you have a concordance. It's a good concordance. It's not exhaustive, but it's extensive enough to, you know, do serious study. And then you have your maps. They're, you know, um, Thomas Nelson, good maps, um, glossy. Uh, I prefer a semi-gloss matte finish. Matte finish is okay. Semi-gloss is best. You do have, a, again, a note regarding the type here. And so, yep, thanking the Lord for that. Now, that is a good Bible. Right? But here is the one that I like the most. And I'll show you why. First of all, it's a wide margin, Okay. And it has that same leather soft cover, only this one is a lot softer to the touch. This is a paper paste down, but I don't care about that. I'm going to get my leather, as I said before, and I'm going to line this with the brown, thin cowhide leather that I use um, to rebind my Bibles. And then I'll just line this, and uh, I may even edge line it um, just for durability. Uh, it's a Smithsonian block. It's an excellent block, um, and uh, yeah, um, I'm thankful for uh, the privilege of being able to uh, do this. Um, this is just a study that I'm going to be doing uh, on the 12 tribes, but um, you have Holy Bible again, New KJV, Thomas Nelson, the same information. You have your copyright page your table of contents looks almost the same with the exception of you have that shortened preface and then um the difference is what well, not much except as i said the wide margin for writing which i love and you have the reference suite at the bottom of the page which i prefer even more so than the center column so um that's uh that's awesome. Everything else is the same. The red letter, um, 
your page number in the center. Um, I truly, truly, look at this thing is so floppy. I fold this thing back and, oh my goodness, I can do Bible yoga with this thing all day long. <laughs> Something Steve used to say, Bible yoga, that was funny. Um, so uh, here it is. Um, this is a great text block. Um, it's a 12 point font, so it's highly readable. It's called a large print, large enough for me. I can read this font without my glasses. So I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for the privilege of being able to have a Bible like this. It's the New King James. Um, it's uh, taken from the exact same manuscripts of the King James Version. Um, the language, of course, is updated. And where um, the text was not so certain in the King James, they did um, upgrade. Um, but yet there were things that they should have changed and didn't uh, because the reasons for this Bible were um, not to make a better um, or a new translation, but just to update um, the best, the best of the best, KJV. So, um, yeah, this is a great, great translation. Uh, the text block is perfect. Um, if there was, this were a goatskin leather cover, I would call it the one. This one is mine. Um, going to get one in goatskin. I'm going to get a Thomas Nelson. Uh, he has, again, the um, concordance and the same maps. Whoops. Hallelujah. So, having said that, there's your note regarding the type. And again, um, two Beresford ribbon markers. Um, this is uh, a great Bible. Um, if you want the ISBN, it's there on the back of the Bible. If you can pause and see it. I don't know if you can see it, it's dry stamped, but I will put these ISBNs in the uh, description of the video for you so that you can go to christianbook.com. That one again, you can probably make out if you just pause, but I'll put them both in the description of the video. Amen. So listen, thanks for watching everybody. That's my look at the uh, wide margin, New King James Version. And um, it's uh, what brother or sister um, in the with the silver gilding. Uh, both of them are done in the leather soft. This one has a vinyl paste down, as I said, so it's a little bit closer to a premium. But they both use the bears for ribbons, long bears for ribbons that are really nice. My wife likes the silver and blue, um, so that's going to be for her. Um, of course, she's still clinging to that uh, um, NASB inside the case over there, which is fine. Um, I love the NASB. I always will. And uh, I have my reader that was given to me um, by a dear brother. So, uh, yeah, um, love it. Thank the Lord for it. We're doing our um, morning meditations and reading through the New King James Version now. So uh, thank the Lord, um, praise him, um, give him all glory and honor for his word. His word is true, and you can trust it, know that it is his word. And uh, hallelujah, we thank the Lord for this. Um, we give him praise. I thank the Lord for you all, and I pray that you all will have a blessed day. Um, thanks for watching this video, and uh, hallelujah. I look forward to uh, live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Jesus loves you. We love you. Um, we're going to be going through a study in the book of Ephesians. So uh, I hope you all will join us. Um, have a great rest of your day. And we'll catch you later. In Jesus' name.